with a heart of gratitude and thanks given to God. The member representing Kushofe Federal Constituency at the Federal House of Representatives, Honorable Rotimi Agusoye, on Sunday, the 23rd of June, 2019, held a Thanksgiving service in celebration of his second term as member representing Kushofe Federal Constituency. The service was held at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory Parish, Magodo, Lagos. The Thanksgiving service, which coincided with the grand finale of the Women Convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory Parish, was very well attended by people from different walks of life. In attendance were the Speaker, Federal House of Representatives, the Rights Honorable Femi Gwetabiamila, First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Saolu, the wife of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Chief Mrs. Uluremi Hamzat, Senator Olorunimbe Mamura and wife, Deaconess Olanlesi Mamura, Secretary to the Lagos State Government, Mrs. Folashade Jaji. The white cap Chiefs of Lagos represented the Oba of Lagos, Oba Rilwan Akinulu, members of the House of Representatives, immediate past and present pastors of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory Parish, and members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory Parish, in Magodo, Lagos. The service commenced with a praise and worship session as the church choir rolled out melodious and quality praise, which saw the congregation dancing to the glory of God. <laughs> Given service also featured hymn or renditions, choir ministrations, prayers, and a sermon. Pastor Mrs. Uluatunyo Laliko, in a sermon titled In Times Like This, noted that terrible things will happen in the last days. She said everyone should be spiritually discerning to know the times we're in and pointed out that godly homes are needed in these times. She urged parents to allow their children know more about God in order to avoid disgrace. Pastor Mrs. Olalika concluded by admonishing the congregation to walk in the Spirit of God. You need to be spiritually designed to know the times we are in. That's why it says the men of Issachar, they were men that understood times, they have understanding. And when you have an understanding, you begin to take heed of what is happening around you, and you take heed to yourself. In times like this, we need godly children. Children that knows the Lord. Children that serve the Lord. 
The Bible says, Proverbs, it's a train of your child in the way that it should go. Abby, we recite it, we say it, but do we do it? When the child knows it's right from wrong, and they bring evil towards that child, the child will be able to discern and say no. The children of Issachar, they were told, they said they should drink strong drink. They said we will not do what? We will not take because our fathers, it was a prophet that told them, God instructed that they should tell them to drink strong wine. And they said our fathers, even if you said it is God that told you, our fathers have told us. They have taught us, they have trained us that it is not meant for us. And because of that, God blessed them. We train children educationally, but we don't train them spiritually. It will demand from us. They were loaned to us to make something good out of their lives. So why should we make a shipwreck of these children? Why should we destroy their destinies? Children need people to talk to this age. They are learning so many different things too fast outside, and they want to talk to you as a parent. This was followed immediately by the thanksgiving of the women of honor of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory Parish, who danced and gave thanks to God for the success of their women convention. To the women convention there was a cooking competition in which the prizes won by the winners and contestants were donated to the children department of the redeemed christian church of god victory parish given thanks to god honorable rotimi agusoye and his wife as well as family members and friends danced forward to give their token as the church choir led the congregation in melodious tunes <laughs> Rotimi Agusoye advised the congregation never to compromise serving God. I want to be clear here to this again because God has always been there for me and my family. I declare again that today, the 23rd of June 2019, I will never in any way. 
One, serve with God. I will never miss anything to serve with God always. Again, because I've done it in the past, and God has been with and that God will continue to do it. I will never compromise with the position that I am to move the nation forward. The reason for praising God, thanking God today, is not for only me. Let me tell you, the pastor I here to testify to that. Before the elections, both primaries and general elections, I've always been asking them to pray. One, for the nation. Two, for those that God will choose to be the country. And when we went all around, after the promise, I said to God, Father Lord, even if Abuja will not be possible, don't let them take the gospel away from us. Amen. God answered that. After the whole elections, then that of the speakership and the service. I went to God God again, that God Almighty. Four years ago, we tried it. We failed. But you God. You know, as it is written in the book of Romans 9 18, he said, You have mercy on who you are, and you have compassion on who you are. Father, have mercy on us. God, listen, he answered the prayer, and we are here we are today. Also, the Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives, the Right Honorable Femi Wedabiamila, thanked God for the life of Honorable Rotimi Agusui. Adding that God Almighty will always stand by him. Well, let me say thank you to everybody. Let me say thank you to God, Pastor Paul, for bringing us here today to rejoice and to be praised because it's about our lives. So to me, be all the glory. But let me particularly say to the congregation and to all on that listening to my voice today. I'm here on a very tight schedule, but I'm here because no matter how tight my schedule is, I must always stand and be with what is the answer. The reason why they were stood by me from day one, not today, not yesterday, not last month, not last year, but for many years. He has been a wrong. I want to thank God for his life, for his successes. This is not, today is not about the speaker, today is about Lord Jimmy and so I pray that as you continue to stand by me, God Almighty will continue to stand by you. All your prayers that you have prayed inside and that which you have not prayed, that you pray outside and you pray inside, Almighty God will make everything for you. I thank you all very much and I thank my Goshians. Those of you here, those of you not here, my Goshians who have stood by me, from 2015 for the past month, this is my fifth term in the house. And the son of this house. The children voted for me, my constituents, first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time. God will enjoy it. I will make all the praise and all the thanks to you all. Thank you. I will pray, I will go, and I will promise that we will not let you back. Thank you very much. This was immediately followed by a session of photographs, after which the First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sanwulu, and wife of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Chief Mrs. Uluremi Hamzat, joined the women of the redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Parish, women of honor, in cutting their convention cake. The Thanksgiving service ended with a vote of thanks said by the pastor in charge of the redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Parish, Pastor Bayo Ulubimi. The reception for the inauguration thanks given for the member representing Koshofe Federal Constituency at the House of Representatives, Honorable Rotimi Agusoye, was held at the CMD Event Center, Shangisha, Lagos. The event commenced with the opening prayer in both the Islamic and Christian ways. Members of the Theatre Practitioners Association of Nigeria, TPAN, entertained guests with a drama presentation. Also, the Honey Tones Band, led by Shea Michael, dished out songs to entertain guests. 
In his remarks, Honorable Rotimi Agusoye pointed out the importance of appreciating and having faith in God. Honorable Rotimi Agusoye, who spoke in Yoruba language, urged everyone to move closer to God and give thanks to Him always. He concluded by thanking everyone for their support and their votes during the election. It is important to appreciate God. It is important to glorify God. It is important to continue to have faith in God. And that is the reason why we are here. As for me and my family, we will continue to serve the Lord. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7, it says, Ask, it shall be given. Seek, ye shall find. Knock, the door will be opened unto you. I've always been asking God, and God has always been there to answer this official sets the dance floor open as the honey tones band rolled out cool music. Biscon Communications wishes Honorable Rotimi Agusoye a successful second term in office.